boys and girls and all the anglers out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to the channel. It is time to get back into our discussion of the trout trolling pyramid. Um, we are going to kick things off here. Level two, key tools. Should you be fishing from a boat? Should you be fishing from a kayak? And uh, I know there's a bunch of bank guys out there and you know, those guys take a lot of pride in what they do. And I was one of those guys for years. I always thought, man, I'll get out there. I don't need a boat. I'm going to hike. I'm going to work the contours. I'm going to use my head and I'm going to outsmart these fish and I'm going to catch a bunch of fish and you can absolutely do that. But the bottom line is if you're fishing off the bank, you know, well, the limitations you're up against. You can only hike so far and you can only cast so far into the lake. And those are the primary limitations, you know. There's a finite amount of water that you can cover with a, a good pair of hiking boots and a backpack on your back. That's just the way it is. And there will, there will be times that you're going to have to move to different destinations because if you're, you know, out at Folsom Lake, water temperature on the surface is 85 degrees you're probably not going to do any good from the bank in terms of trout fishing. You're going to need to get up in the mountains, get up somewhere where there's a cooler surface temperature, and then you'll be back into the fish. So those are the limitations of bank fishing. But let's talk about boats and kayaks. And I'm about to make a bold statement right here. You know, with, with some factors, you know, if I'm at the Great Lakes where I've not fished before or some just some massive body of water like that, um, you know, you're going to need a boat. You're just going to need a boat because fishing out of a kayak, you're probably not going to have enough range. And, you know, there's a safety factor too. But at most of the lakes I fish, and here's the bold statement. If you told me, man, you are fishing for a hundred thousand dollars. Do you want to fish from your, your, your big FHS pontoon boat? Or do you want to fish from your Hobie pro angler? Hands down, I am taking the kayak, okay? The stealth factor is something you just don't have out of a big boat. You know, the big boat gives you the advantage of range and, and longevity on the water. You can troll all day long at three miles an hour if that's what the situation calls for. You can run way over there five miles to an area that's holding fish if you need to. Those are the advantages of a, of a boat. But once you get on the fish... If you're in the same area at the same time working the same bite, the kayak will almost always outfish a big boat simply because it's more stealthy. We see it here at Collins Lake all the time. Um, in the springtime, we'll be running kayak trips. Wes will be handling the kayak trips. I'll be running the big boat. Um, we'll both be using the same presentation. You know, say we're going to be trolling worms and blades or trolling flies or whatever it is. Wes and his anglers, many of which have never trout fished before in their life, will be outpacing what I'm catching on the boat simply because they're more stealthy. They can also work a, a small area much more effectively than I can. If I hook a fish and, and I have to come around, land the fish, and then come back to that area, I'm covering a lot of ground in the boat to get back into that area. That's not true in a kayak. In a kayak, you can work a hundred yard circle very effectively. A lot of the videos you've seen me in the past where I'm out at Davis or, you know, Elmanor, but particularly Davis where I'm just pounding the fish in the kayak, I'm working a really small area. A lot of times I'll be out there by the island and I'll be trolling, you know, a slot that's 50 yards wide and a hundred yards long. And I'm just grinding on that circle. I found an area that's holding trout. I found an area where the trout are feeding and I am not leaving that area. I'm not deviating from that pattern until I stop catching fish. And uh, in a kayak, you can really mop them up. Another situation where the kayak really shines is shallow water, say water that's 10 feet deep or less. A lot of times you run a boat through water that's 10 or 12 feet deep, you're going to spook the fish. You're going to troll through there. You're not going to get hit. Where a kayak guy, he can go in there before you or after you and just smoke him because he's just not, just doesn't have that big of a footprint. He doesn't have the mechanical noise of a boat. He's not, you know, displacing as much water. And even, you know, at a lot of lakes, even the range disadvantage of a kayak is negated 
by all the launching facilities available. First of all, you don't need a traditional launching facility to get your kayak wet. So if the fish are, you know, five miles over there, you can put that kayak back in the truck, run over to a piece of shoreline or another launching facility that's closer to the fish, and you've negated one of the big advantages of a boat, which is range. So anyway, Boats are wonderful. They're awesome. I own one. I'm getting ready to get another one to fish Lake Tahoe out of. Um, you know, I've had boats for a long time. Boats of all shapes and sizes from Gregor's all the way up to 20 plus foot aluminum willy boats. I've had awesome Duckworth boats. I've got this big, awesome FHS pontoon boat that I'm fishing out of right now. But uh, I don't think anything can match the trout catching ability of a pedal kayak maximum stealth, minimum footprint. You just don't scare the fish. And when you find them, you can stay right on them and you can exploit that bite to a maximum degree. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Your mileage may vary, but uh, that is my preferred trout fishing platform, hands down. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube with another installment of the Trout Trolling Pyramid. Thanks a lot, guys.